Good evening and welcome to a special edition of the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, January 11, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. here in the municipal offices. Just to let everyone know this meeting will be recorded. Um, the first item on our agenda is to meet with our town council, Kate Federal, and talk about um, the building office transition, the building inspector's office transition. Um, so I, I, go ahead. Right, thank you so much for having me. I'm Kate Welcome. Federoff. Um, I was asked to talk about the building department and where we stand because at this point, the information I have is you have a person filling the temporary local inspector position and of course you have the building commissioner. Um, it's my understanding that you've posted for the permanent building commissioner position um, and because of the lull that you get this time of year in building inspections um, that are necessary, whether or not there's a need to continue on with the local inspector on the temporary basis who is kind of plugging a hole for the time being. Um, so in order to do that, if you feel like the services are, are no longer needed and that temporary need at the height of inspections has been satisfied, um, I would need a vote from the board to authorize me to draft a letter and let him know that, you know, effective whenever um, his services with the town are completed. Um, now, it, it, since it's been posted this way, I think what the board should do is consider this on a really global mm -hmm. level and um, whether or not in the interim, how long, number one, do you expect you'll need before you fill the permanent building commissioner position? Mm -hmm. And um, for that duration, whether or not you'll still need the temporary services of the local inspector, or whether or not you think that the current building commissioner in his dual capacity is able with the time allotted to him to satisfy both roles. So that's the question for you to decide tonight. And if mm -hmm. you decide that the services are no longer needed, I can prepare the letter. I think we're kind of well. Can can we talk a little bit sure. about sure. that? Yeah. So um, uh, I was I was confused why we would let him go if we don't have a replacement yet, and I understand that it, we're letting we have a lull, I guess, in number of inspections and what people are doing. Um, my I think my concern going forward is that um, you know we have. We have one person in the position who's limited in his ability to do both jobs that we're asking him to do, and um, I know we've we've kind of put him back on as commissioner because of a change we've had. But to uh, limit the town to a, a limited number of hours to cover all of the health needs of the town and the building needs of the town when we don't have a building and then letting the uh, you know the, the temporary help go just it seems a little short sighted but i i don't profess to know a ton about what goes on in that department and what their loads are but um i kind of have an envision being on the board of health what's needed for health work <coughs> that i want to make sure that we're doing and, and expanding on mm -hmm. and with a with somebody with such a limited amount of time ability to do that and then also you know letting go over the temporary help we have I'm, I'm fine with getting somebody new and get you know jumping on that that process and so maybe the, the the option is to just until we have somebody you know we keep him on but i i don't really i'm just concerned that we're, we're leaving the town short of available hours and and i'm concerned i, I just want to make sure we're we're expanding the health board of health work health inspection stuff while we also want to be covered for building inspection so well i i spend a fair amount of time in there and i've i've seen the the lull since you know the first or actually prior to the first of the year and that our, our temporary inspector had uh, limited hours as well understood um, yep. and, and they weren't <clears throat> they weren't always filled at that and i was told last week or the week before he's going to be missing another two weeks so i, I the i talked with uh you know dick about it and he seems quite confident that he's not only been doing more 
uh, that you know he's capable of you know dealing with all of this. And well, for a limited for a limited no amount of time. I mean, sure. I think we still have to keep moving on oh, trying to get a, a true building inspector person right. hired. So what's the hurry though to let someone go if we don't have a replacement? That's what I'm confused about. Like, why don't we just roll along the way we are and then do the search process, get somebody on, and we're done? I just don't the, understand the, the need to jump on that. The amount of time that was expected is not being fulfilled, I guess is the best way of putting it. Well, we'd have zero time fulfilled if we don't have anybody. Well, so that's, you know. I, I'm just, I don't, again, I don't really know how it all works, but I'm yeah. just concerned that. Well, and, and I, I share your concern, or I, sh you know, understand not that it can't Michael. get, I understand your concern, but I, I think, you know, Dick's been doing this a long time, and if he didn't feel uh, capable, I mean, he's the one that came to me in the first place last October and said, you know, I'm, I'm going to need some help because there's a lot going on. Right. Uh, the majority of what was going on has kind of like settled down now, so that's why I just thought it would be a good time. And since we are actively, you know, looking for, uh, another inspector and stuff and I don't know how many candidates we have but uh, you know and well do you want to talk about that do we know how many we have and when yeah I've talked about that before I've told you yeah. I think we have three right three applicants and I said it probably would take a, a minimum of three months before once you begin the process to get someone in place why would it take three months it does I can tell you I've done it over 27 years now and done these searches and that's the minimum it's ever taken. Advertising, two weeks notice, setting up interviews, um, perhaps a second interview, reference checks, and then giving notice to the job if they're in a job. So when you said posting, are we posting again? It's already, no, it's, we already have applicants oh, and, okay. and, it, and again we post so the position is filled, so if there are additional people who are interested, you can consider them. Mm -hmm. But we've got three applicants, uh, probably two of them are qualified for um, interview. We've kind of got a committee set up um, and ready to go if you want to go. It's up well, to you. I, I think one of the things that I, I've noticed in that, that posting I, I didn't particularly care for, I'd, I'd like it to be changed a little bit more to reflect the requirements. Um, required for the position, um, but I don't think that that's a big deal if you change it midstream, is it? Uh, what are you talking about? I, I think, are you talking about the job description or the job ad posting? Can you talk more about what it is? Well, I, I don't have in front of me, it's been a while since I said, but it, it said it asked for just general construction, you know, background or, or something equal to that, and I, I think that, you know, having different... I don't think that was changed from what existed. Well, it, but it needs a certain amount of required. You reviewed um, the position description. Yeah, so, so the building commissioner ultimately has to have licensure. Um, and, and if they come equipped with the licensure, it's, it's great. Um, there's a certain oh. time period to obtain the licensure. Um, so you can get a bigger pool of applicants if you allow um, a essentially a conditional appointment mm -hmm. until such time as they get the appropriate licensure because not even all your local building inspectors have the the same licensure that's required to be the top dog essentially right, yeah but so um, I think both of the two of the candidates to have it on oh way, right I believe okay. and I think I, I've seen what happens especially in this community when you have on the job training on a, on a job that really requires a lot of background. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I really would prefer not to go have the community go down that road. Um, and I, but I think that you know, people looking for that position would understand uh, the requirements necessary. But I, yeah. if I, and I haven't read it in a while, but it, it seemed very vague to me. And I mm -hmm. just didn't know if we could repost that, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I did review it, it was, it was okay, yeah. but if you had a specific requirement that you wanted uh, to put in, say a specific educational requirement that was a minimum, mm -hmm. um, if they have above the minimum, obviously that's a benefit. Mm -hmm. So if there's a minimum requirement that you're um, asking your applicants to have, you can add that to a mind. posting for sure. Okay, sure. 
So, uh, where, um, I'm just, I'm just still nervous about the time that, that our current, you know, health inspector has to do all of that stuff that should be done, and then I know that we probably don't have a lot. I mean, I don't know. I'm just nervous to, get, to go ahead without having, you know, somebody in, in the spot, but, I mean, it's, it's up to you guys. I don't, I don't know. Your thoughts? Well, I, I, I know um, the problem is that uh, we, we don't have a lot for him to do, and um, I don't know. Do we pay him if we if is he on a on call basis or do we, do no, we pay him we, even we, if he just shows up? You, correct. I I truly believe that's the way it is. It was. Um, yeah, it was I'm not sure if it was nine hours a week or something like that. You know, it was supposed to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it doesn't happen that way. Yeah, I know. Um, and, and that was a little bit irritating, I know, for Dick, because it, he couldn't count on him coming in. And, and like I said, I, I go in there frequently, and there'll be sticky notes on the telephone to make these inspections, and the people call back. And, you know, technically, you've got 48 hours to do this, and then the people can go ahead. Uh, whether it's a homeowner or a builder, um, a lot of times they're reluctant to, to push that envelope um, because technically they could continue on with the work, but if they bury it, then the inspector shows up four days later and says, oh, well, I'm here to inspect it, but I can't because you covered it. And then it creates a, a, a very contentious moment because, you know, by law, they have 48 hours to do this. And if they don't do it, then it's, they don't get the inspections. But the inspector wants to make sure it's done right, so you know, now you, you've... That's why it's an important thing to get done. Yeah, no, it was my understanding that Dick was doing them all anyway. Yeah, so. it, it, that's, that's my whole point. And that, uh, um, you know, if uh, when I'm in there, you know, I ask, you know, what, what do you have to do today? He says, well, I've got an appointment at DA or I've got an appointment at Sugarloaf. I got two inspections that day. So that takes up an hour and a half with driving. And so for his next five hours, he could, if he has to do, you know, uh, board of health stuff or paperwork, he has the time to do that. And I mean, we've all know Dick. I mean, if, if, if he didn't feel capable, he, he definitely would tell us. So. Well, I think it's also um, at the end of the year there, he was running into the wall for hours. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't have that at the beginning of the year. Right. He can work longer hours. Right. So, I, Well, he, has, he can only do 19 a week, right? Uh, now it doesn't matter because it, it's a total in the end. And it works out to be 19, 20-ish <coughs> a week. He just has to hit his ceiling. So as long as we keep moving forward with the building inspector um, thing, I, I would think that we would be okay. Do do so? <coughs> have we decided that we're going to interview those two? It doesn't sound like I we've think, even decided that. I, I think that. we should. I think we should just wait a little longer and, and see if we get some more applicants. Uh, I mean, we can talk about this on the twenty third as well if you want. Okay. And just see if other people come along. I mean, I. Well, I don't know. I mean, I are we actively reposting this though? I mean. I, I well, let me take a peek. I mean, does it shouldn't make a difference if you change the wording in your you, ad. If you it can isn't. you can repost. Yeah. You know, and Wendy, are we advertising right now? If 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 you felt I have like taken you wanted. I the website because I noticed the one I just pulled off had one of the highlights from yours. I believe oh. it's still up on the website. But I'm not sure. But we're not really posting it actively somewhere else, are we? Uh, we posted it in, I both, the, we left the, it was on the, in the beacon, it was also in um, the, you know, building officials, the or whatever, mm -hmm. maybe also Western. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, so this is, you posted the job description. Yeah, I reviewed it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, you can continuously. We have two very qualified yeah. candidates. If you're, if you're we didn't popular. expect to have any, and if we wait longer, we won't. Because yeah. we all know, as you know, it's you very hard to find building commissioners, building inspectors. Mm -hmm. Could we not um, 
interview them and I mean we don't have to make a decision of when we're gonna fill the position but we could at least and interview the ones we have before they decide not to I already called them to verify they're still interested because it's been a few weeks mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah but you why would you interview people and then leave them hanging I, I don't understand my point Stop is I don't asking. want to wait, I don't want to leave anybody hanging that long that we haven't, I mean, I want to get moving on this. We need to hire a person. Okay, okay. So okay. I want to get going on that. That's my, my yeah, goal. you might find that you're comfortable with one of the applicants. Right, and if not, then we're not. But I don't know. I, I think uh, it's important to move forward. We're ready to move as soon as you are. Okay. Kip, is, well, Kip you're, you're on that committee, correct? Yes. Um, uh, was it Kathy? Kathy? Kathy Felton from the ZBA has agreed to be on it. Connor right. and Diana, both interested, and that makes sense. Who else do we have? Per the chief, Chorik may be interested. Yeah, we usually have John Pachorik and Maybe Brenda. Brenda. Uh, Brenda. Well, uh, I'm not sure Brenda is going to be on this one. I, I don't know if I'm repeating what Carolyn said, but is this actively posted in any newspapers or other places that it was I mean well that's what I'm saying it, it's posted it as a one-time ad and it's gone so nobody's right we'd be paying that's thousands of dollars because we advertised quite a while ago if we kept the ad going I don't know if it's still on the building inspectors yeah it was in the beacon yeah it's on their lip the, the one online where most municipal officials look yeah. is the MMA online job listings and what do they keep it up for a month I yeah. think so I haven't looked. Because, I don't know. Do, do, do you not post this like in, uh, in large DVD. area newspapers, like in the Springfield? I can tell you, I, you know, uh, it was posted in what I just told you. It was in the Beacon, which is where most people look. It was in the Recorder, I think. It was Maybe it's just the building inspections newsletter, building, you know, the... I don't know the official name of their like organization. Indeed and that kind of thing. Is that no, like no, no. Thing? You don't want to go to Indeed. Then I'll get a thousand carpenters and have to. Re I I believe very strongly. Everyone who applies gets a response. Mm -hmm. So Indeed is not the place for a very specialized kind of job where people who aren't qualified well, apply. The, yeah, so well, no. You would know better than me, but I think if you're a municipal employee looking for a job, you're probably looking at the MMA website. That's yeah. Or the building inspectors, go. and it was also the Western Mass building inspector. So we well, covered. Do you want to put it back in? One more time. Is that what you're looking yeah, that, for? Other I, people? Or? Yeah, I, I guess that you know. I mean, I, I totally understand what you're saying that you're putting it, but you're opening it up to, to, typically to the municipal, you know, people that know of this. But if you were to put it, you know, like in the large, I'm not saying the Boston Globe, but if you put it in the Boston Globe, there's a chance that a lot more people can can see this. Um, you know, there there might be an engineer or, or other people in that background, whatever that you know to just. To get us greater well, exposure. I don't think that would be worthwhile putting it in the globe. No I, one's no, gonna move out here for a job and, and it would cost I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I didn't really mean the Boston Globe. Okay. I meant a large paper like a Springfield paper. You know, just because that's well, close to us. You know, people the biggest way to find the best yeah. way to find people yeah. and I still get calls for a, for yeah. your job because we put um, is word of mouth. Yeah. And it's it's in the trade publications and that's where people want to okay. do this work look. So right. We spent money already on these ads. Um, I was really pleased to get to quali qualified. Can yeah, actually shocked is the word. Well, so yeah, we can get that going if you want. Kip, I've, I've been you waiting for you. you could interview, set up the interviews, and then um, look, check references, and if it's if they don't meet the minimum requirements, then we can make sure that it's out there again. Do you want it? Um, what? Can you tell me what it is that you don't feel? Um, was it education or where was that? Right. The last page is education experience at the top. Is this the same then, one we um, did earlier? It's it's basically same. what we've been using with some changes. And again, Kate has reviewed it.
I'm not necessarily anti-education, but what does a bachelor's degree got to do with that? That's what was pre-existed in the job. And it, it makes sense. There's a lot of writing. There's, you know, understanding the code books and having, you know, critical thinking skills and our zoning bylaws. So I think it's a very legitimate, and we've got applicants who forgot that especially in the generation of workforce that's coming up that we're looking for. Well. Kev? Yes. And You've got Kev, candidates, tell them to apply. I will Seriously. say to, um, it says or any equivalent yeah. combination of right. education, training, and experience which covers the the field. So if you don't happen to have a bachelor's, but you're, you know, you've got a construction supervisor's license and you've been a contractor for umpteen years, that sufficiently educates you to, to meet that minimum qualification. Um. And I will say too, this is not anything that's legal, but I think right. Wendy does have a really valid point that um, these publications, the MMA specifically, and the trade publications are, are places where folks that are looking to, like to get into this industry or yep. are already in this industry tend to look. So are you willing Do you think it's to get worth moving on this? Um, I, I, I'd like to wait just a little bit. I mean, not months, but if it was a week or two, I, um, Do you think but I, I, I don't know if we'd get any more, but I, I don't know if it's to any benefit. Are these, you say that these are already in the MMA listings now? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I, just I, some uh, background. I've worked with towns in Worcester County were struggling to get building inspectors so much so that they were regionalizing the position pretty often on sharing inspectors. I think it's, I thought it was slim chance of getting anybody okay. qualified. That you have two, I think to let them get away would be a mistake. Um, well, I, I think, it, it, if you interview them, or I mean, if you review the app, app, okay. applications right. and then set up, decide that you're going to interview them. Okay. Because um, you could look at them and sure. see if you feel that they're qualified, All right. and then uh, set up interviews. Okay. And we have to do reference checks. Yep. In the meantime, if we still hold this open, okay. Then, um, and if we get anybody else. All right. Um, yes, do encourage people. Down. Really do. Excuse me. I do. You know, encourage, yeah, encourage people. people. Yeah, it's yeah. not closed. It's, okay. It is because we needed to have a jumping off point to start the process. Sure. Yeah. But you know, okay. someone very. Well qualified and able to start and fit in with the community, all of that. All right. Well, then we can do it. You, I can come in next week and you can share the information. information I put packets have. together. I work right. with Diana and Connor on that. And okay. One mm -hmm. of them we'll will be that. the point person right. with you, for the committee. If you look at them, you can see if they're qualified. Sure. And then, and then you. And they then are it, qualified. Right. And if there, if there's, you know, two at least, mm -hmm. it would be worth starting the process of at least. Okay. You know, That's fine. And so, if they're not, or if you're not satisfied, then we can keep keep it open, I guess. Okay. I, I just feel like we've got to repost or re-get it out there and keep moving it forward, because if we don't interview people, if we don't or start the process, then, you know, Dick is going to get stuck when the things start picking up. No, I agree. I agree. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come in next week and we'll, we'll go over that. The issue is still about um, the local building inspector. I mean, he's, he's well, not going to be here till February anyway. Yeah, so. I mean, if he's not even going to be here, I, if we're, as long as we have a commitment to move forward, I don't feel like there's any problem letting him know that we don't need his services anymore. He's so kind of limited. You, like that's what, my concern is, what if we do? Like, why would we hamper ourselves for no? He, he is, he's if not we, committed to any number of hours per week. Right. You know, he's kind if, of on call, so, so we're, we're not, not committed. So we're not having to pay him and right. not, not when he's and not, not working, and then oh, have him oh, not come in. Oh wait a minute! He 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 does have a commitment for us. He's supposed to come on Tuesdays and Thursdays well, we from can, ten to two. We can adjust that. And that's we not can adjust necessarily that. happening. Well, so if it's I'm not happening, happening, then we adjust it to the schedule that works for him or or as needed. 
Or if that's the issue, then let's deal with that as the issue. Can we just, then I make a motion, we just move them as a as needed employee rather than a commitment of a Tuesdays and Thursdays? So like an hourly employee that yeah. comes in to fill a void? But as, we'll let him know as, as, as we need He is on an hourly employee. Yeah. Yes. But as, he is, is, but he's supposed to coming in on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays and half the time. I guess the question is, is he paid for the hours he's actually working? Yes. Or is he paid yes. for... Oh, so he is on call as it is. Right. Well, no, no, no he, he sort of shows up. He, he just shows up when he wants to. Okay, so it's a separate issue. Well, it's yes. a separate issue. Let's talk about it. Let's just be very clear that there are hours him? that are expected or, yeah. you know, whatever. I, I'm just unclear. Do you want him to come in every Tuesday and Thursday and do no. eight Not hours? Right, no, no, right now. No, so you want... You want him to just come in as needed, and if that we need him, we could original... call him and ask him to come in. Yeah, yeah. you know that would solve it. Be without, I right. think yeah. be without anybody in the in the short meantime providing sure. anything. And comes if there's up, a big project that comes up and you need all hands on happen. deck, right. he can jump in right. and, and right. help. Right. We okay. So how was happens. the original appointed uh, appointment worded? Was it worded differently than that? That he only. That he no, was we just appointed him as a as part -time. a part time. There was okay, no, I don't so think there was any specific hours. No, so it was expected to be so many hours, and he would get X yeah. dollars. It, per he week. was also retired, so it couldn't yeah, be it any more than nineteen of, hours a week. Okay, it was a fill in as we so. needed, and and, it, and and he was supposed to come in on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and he sort of okay. Wasn't, hasn't so been so what you could do is make a motion tonight to to, to modify the appointment to pay him for actual hours performed when needed as a local inspector for the town of De Deerfield as dictated by the you building know, need, commissioner the building commissioner okay I, I make that motion and i would second that motion yeah. problem is we didn't have a building commissioner when he was appointed oh so, so you didn't have anyone right. to manage that right. yeah yeah well and then yeah that's me okay um do you, so, do you want to, do you get that, somebody got that motion that kind of helped fell upon us? Yes. Well, it's the tape. <laughs> we have it on tape. We have it on tape. No, we she will. Can, you can get it from her. We'll write it down. We'll use Kate's wording. Yeah, it's all right here. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Word right. for word. Is there any further discussion? No, I think that solves the problem. I think so, too. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great. So. Thank you. You got that down, so we're going to. Pay him. At, we'll call him as needed and pay him accordingly. Right. We, we, okay. Right. And then he doesn't have to worry about showing up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, it's a, yeah. Do it has a, a it? schedule, and right. if we need, if we have, have something in yeah. need, oh. do you uh, I, I do you want to write that, that letter, or do you want us to do no it? Coverage. Or? I agree. Uh, it's just that it's he was supposed to come Tuesdays. When did you want me to write it, or well, would you like to write it? Well, I'm not sure what the letter is now. Is just to this, notify him of of the no, no. reassignment of hours. Am I getting picked up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah. You. Oh, okay, because that changed. It's going into the TV, and sometimes the, we can hear here, and but it's always going ah, okay. into the um, broadcast. Oops. Now he heard, it. <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> I think he's tricking us. Right yeah. <laughs> no, they, he told us that it was wonky to me. <laughs> yeah. He already warned us. Uh, um, to essentially notify him that he need not come in every Tuesday and Thursday for for those eight hour periods, but rather um, he'll be on call and be yeah, paid for I, the hours worked. It'd be better if I wrote it. Okay. Um, why having legal counsel write? There's no need for that. If it's a management. If that's your yeah. decision, as a town administrator, I could write that and say, work with the building commissioner to figure out a schedule. And this was the vote of the board and capture the vote of the right. language that yep. she used. Hundred okay. percent fine. I yep. mean why Makes get sense. why does it right. need to come from an attorney? It doesn't yeah. make any No, okay. I just I just wanted it to be clear to, to David. So so when you write that just let or if you have you do it he does just let me see it and just so the message is clear for him. Okay. That's all I want to ask. All right. Match the motion. That's that. The next item of uh, the town administrators, um, how do you want to word that? Um, departure? Transition. Transition. I'm happy with departure. Departure. <laughs> she's, she's not getting teary. We're all getting teary for yeah. it. 
Um, yeah, I, I think you've beat me to the punch, though, because I understand on Wednesday night you appointed Diana as the interim town administrator, which should get you over the hump of trying to figure out what to do and sure. get through town meeting. So, and you obviously have the assistance of Connor in the assistant role, so it's probably going to be a smooth transition. I guess mm -hmm. the question is, do you want to discuss um, anything relative to the search search committee or finding yes. a new? Um, I do. Okay. Actually, I do too. I want to make sure we post it pretty soon. Yes. So I guess this would be the place to get a vote from the board to initiate the search committee. We. Um, I've been thinking about, you know, how, how to go about it and who might be on it and, I, you know, if I could have um, the vote of the board to continue that process and, and fill you in sure. on wh where we're going and um, we're Sorry. reaching out to several people that would run the search uh, or candidates maybe, uh, options to run the search and then um, I would bring back names to you in maybe a week for the, um, I'm thinking a week would give me enough time to solidify the names of people that would be on the committee. Okay. Do you think and we then, could do it for um, the 23rd? I mean, we'd yeah. be, able, ha be able to have that on the agenda for the 23rd? I would see why not. <laughs> okay. I, it's, I'm not trying to rush you. I just want to make sure. Well, I just want to make sure we keep moving. I, I agree, because we, we have a limited time, um, and we need to roll right. on. So, yeah, no, I think we're in good shape for where we're going to be. And... Um, could, could we also, since we're talking about posting jobs, can we just make sure we post the job for on the transfer station? You know, we voted to have the second attendant at the transfer station, but we didn't vote to post it. So we have oh, this because we, we didn't to vote. vote to appropriate money yet for it. Well, we have to go to... Um, and then, then we would post it once we get the... Well, well how, where do we have to go? We we should go to the finance committee then for a reserve and, transfer and get a tra reserve transfer for the Unless money. Unless Kevin has money in his, but I don't think he does in his salary yeah. budget or his, you know wage. What? Sorry. I thought Kevin said he did have the money for the. Uh, well, he emailed something differently to me this week, so. Um, but thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's got a good memory. <laughs> Rock has got a good memory. <laughs> So we'll get Why don't you straighten that, that out with Kevin? I'll leave it up to him. But yeah. um, we need the money in place in order to, you know. So when's uh, the next finance we'll, committee meeting? Uh, the 15th. The 15th? I believe I got a notice today that they're meeting. You okay. had a question. They already posted their agenda, meet. though. You had a question you'd want us to meet next week? Well, let's finish this, and then okay. we'll talk about that. I didn't that. know how that would play in for timing. So then the 23rd is fine. I don't know. I don't know how... You, how much time do you need is to probably get good. answers for, yeah. do we have I'm, money? And, I, I, I was We've got a lot going on. You've yep, got the fine. budget. I, I just was making no, no, make sure we're moving on this. Yep. Oh, you, and maybe, yeah. He's, totally he's right. running with it. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, maybe, so if you think, um, if the finance committee has already posted their Tuesday agenda, then um, do you think they're meeting on the 22nd? I think they're meeting think they weekly meet. now. Okay. So I would. Could, could you just send, skip an email? that we would like to see. Um, reserve fund transfer? Yeah, probably a reserve fund transfer. Because it was okay, not anticipated. And then we need to touch base with Kevin and figure out how much that would right. be. Yeah, because it's not anticipated. Yeah, but he was prepared to put it in his FY20 budget. Yes, That's what he yes, would like to do. we had talked do. about it. Because right. we had right. talked about changing some of his line items. We were thinking of hi hiring people to mow lawns and mm -hmm. stuff. Free up to some To free up um, um, the employees to do some, you know, real work with culverts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not that they don't do real work. Yeah, I know, I know, but I meant <laughs> Just more complicated, work. more skilled work. Yes, different work. That's what yep. I meant. Yep. Thank I you know for you correcting me. <laughs> I, I don't want anyone to get it's mad. Like the real right. world. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> some, right. something more skilled. Yeah, that, other than, you're right. right. That, that makes sense. It's more needful I think Kevin was on board with that, so. Yeah. Good. Okay, so. Okay. Um, so I guess, yes, I will come back on the 23rd with names, if not sooner, and um, okay. to appoint to a search committee and hopefully uh, somebody to run that committee. Okay. And okay. also review the job description. And, yeah, absolutely. We need to review you, that and like, decide that what, what we want. Two years ago, two and a half years ago. Yeah. Because I definitely um, want to look that over and decide, you know, there's... Yeah, it probably should be updated because yes. it is a couple years old. But what, what, well, what was, Wendy, what has changed that you Well, think? one of the things given with Connor here now, who's mm -hmm. got certification in procurement, procurement. Uh, that 
that Might could be not. switched no. into his position. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. We can but look you, at it. But yeah, you know what? I, I'm actually not comfortable. Um, not having it, the town administrator. Yeah, because, you know, that's sort of like a minimal requirement right. or and you if, could delegate too so you could right. give the t you know yeah. those same duties right. but allow delegation I'm, I'm, I'm not have no problem with right. connor doing it but, but you just i want feel the like the, i feel like the town administrator right. has got to know that it up for what um, could be changes and okay. look at it from you know there. that kind of stuff that's right. like basic knowledge well i'm also going to recommend and i don't know if i don't think this is in the position description but that the records access officer go back to where it should be with the town clerk as it is in the rest of the state. Um, that changed between town administrators a few years ago and it really is a, a job that should be with the clerk's office. It always had been and uh, it got reassigned to the administrator's position. If you want to speak to, I, we didn't, haven't talked about this. Yeah, but. you know, town clerks generally are the records ac access officer. That's the more common. Um, theme depending upon you know every what everyone's juggling right. um, I have seen in one other instance where the town administrator is the records access officer but there were other things going into play there um, it is much more common to have the town clerk serve in that capacity because she I don't think he generally the, keeps the records right. too I don't think it's in the job description for no no that, no for the it's just tradition for the town administrator but yeah, it's always been until, and then they changed the law, and then she came to you to ask that it be reassigned, and it it's really belongs with the town clerk. Well, it, it's I realize that it's <clears throat> it is a lot of work, and sometimes it can be overbearing. Um, and I know that you know not only the town administrator but the town clerk have a lot of other things to do. Yeah. And our town clerk is also a collector, mm -hmm. tax collector too, which that brings and on treasure. another whole and treasure. Treasure. And treasure. And and treasure of complicated. Yeah. You know paperwork that's constant I mean between the real estate bills and our sewer bills and water bills and everything else that goes out it's a lot know, it is office. a lot you know so, so. you can I mean, also have, have a records access officer for example if you get your for primary departments. for departments you get your primary records request for the police department for example they can assign an officer who would serve in that capacity they do and they, they do, do the they reject do. oh you already have yeah, that in place yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can have department. You can have multiple, but they just have to be clearly assigned. Mm -hmm. Sure. If it eases the burden in light of you know what everyone has to do, I, I can't I speak that, to any of that. Doesn't that have to be voted? We have to vote that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So to. we have to. I mean, Let's that's going to be a again. change. I'm going to. That'll be in my report to the board when I go. Okay. okay. Not asking to act but, on that. So that should be changed on the job description then. Right? I don't think it's in the job description. Okay. Because the law changed and. You know, in the midst so of else, all that. So, right. what else, um, so what else on the job I don't know right now. I'd have to go back. But I don't think too much. Okay. Because, again, I would just like to make sure we're moving ahead. So if it was something that we really needed to review, I, you know. Our, I actually I think, don't think it is. I think it's in pretty good shape okay. the way it is. It's nothing. Okay. Well, know. maybe you could just email it out to us after you've had a chance to look at it. And, and think about it for a little bit. Well, the thing is, one of the things we don't want to do is, it, I think it's, it's good the way it is, um, is change it for the people who are in the job. That's one of the problems that sometimes happens. You know, mm -hmm. we go, well, you know, you're in the job now, and you, you know, like I was just saying, well, put this Absolutely. on myself. He's got this, so let's give it to him. It makes more sense to have it in the, in the town administrator's job description and then delegate yeah, Literally that's why I wasn't the term really they use in, per, in procurement. Yeah. Um, so I would leave the j job description alone, but I'm ha happy to. Well, maybe what you could do is just email it out after you've looked at it again, and and thought about it for a little bit. Because sometimes you know, like we're putting you on the spot right now. Oh, Wendy, what do you would change? So if you think about it for a little bit, make any changes you think, and if you do make changes, obviously Kate had already, or or our, the lawyers had already looked at it before we posted it last time. So if I you doubt make, it. Really? You don't think so? No. I think you, we've been working with it. Um, they're pretty standard. They're pretty um, standard. I'm happy to look at it, but they are pretty yeah. standard. Well, maybe you could just I'll run it, it by Kate. I'll send yeah. it to everybody. I'm I'll send it to you first. It. Then. OK. And, and right. if there's anything you think that we should have it yeah. updated, and then um, 
because I, I would really would like us to vote to next on the twenty. The next meeting is the twenty third. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I would like this all done Great. for the twenty third, mm -hmm. and then we vote to post it or start the process. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm good. Every that. time that we moved another meeting, it's you know we were losing time. Yep. And I, I, I am a bit traumatized through this transition period. So. <laughs> I mean, it's happened we'll be before good. when there was we'll be nobody, good. and it was, it was really Actually, awful. We'll so we just want to make sure we keep. Up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we need to keep moving on this. Yeah. I, I, we'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Trevor started to say earlier, um, we really do need to hit the ground on the budget ASAP, and I'm wondering if you can meet next week mm -hmm. and review our select board budgets, and you must decide on the compensation plan got to make a decision. Why? We've got to get the budgets done. And yes, but it's a lot of work to redo it if you change your mind. This is a, a special request from Brenda that this get decided in particular. Well, I mean, 70% of our, just about 70% of our budget is school related. And I'm not saying what I'm you decide, I'm just saying you need to decide. I, I don't want to decide. I don't want to be pushed into deciding until I know how the budgets are coming together. That's my problem. How do you get <clears throat> how do you get an accurate dollar amount if they don't even know what it's going to be? I mean, they've got an yeah, idea. But we, but they can they they can do the step. It's twenty seven thousand dollars, right? For Something the step. Like for the step. And, and I have cola. no problem with the step, <coughs> but I don't want to make a decision about the cola or anything else until I see what the whole overall budget looks like. Because you know, I don't know. We, we have no idea what's coming from the schools. We know, already know that they're asking for a lot of capital mm -hmm. items, well, but we don't know what their operational budgets are. So to, be, to, make, to say one way or the other, I, I'm, I don't feel comfortable at this well, point. Well, do some research between now and, when did you want that decided? On the 16th or the 23rd, a regular meeting? I want you to meet next week and make a decision. I, I just, I just, I mean, it, 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 to add a 2% COLA is no big deal, or to not add a 2% COLA. If they just do the steps, that's what we agreed on right now. And, and why do we have to do the COLA? And I, and I am not sure. But you didn't vote well, on that yet. But I, I, I understand what you're saying, <clears throat> and, and I don't have a problem with that either. But I think it's important issue. to stick to the agenda, too. I'm just... Oh, right. being yeah. the, right. That's true. I'm we, sorry. Now is not the time to talk. About <laughs> well, set the meeting. You. Set right. the meeting. <laughs> I guess then we the will agenda. not make a be making a decision it's not on Wednesday because I'm it, not it, willing to make well, a decision. Well, Diana's yet. said this right. too. Anyway, the, the, for the, the town administrator, does anybody have any other questions? All right. No. No. I'm, I'm all set, Trevor. I just, you know what, no, I, um, no, our calendar is getting so full. I mean, seriously, I've had meetings every day and every night. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure. So on the 14th, we just right have the sewer open. meeting. Can we just go over that? What's that? Um, Monday, just, yes, Monday is the uh, sewer planning um, <coughs> budget meeting. Uh, okay. So we're, I mean, sewer planning Waste meeting. Wastewater assessment. Wastewater assessment. Assess Thank you. I should just read the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a. Wastewater a six, systems assessment update meeting slash. At six, at six o'clock. Yeah. Was there anything else that day? It no. seems like really weird that I didn't have anything else that day. Um, that. We could add something. No, we can't no. at this point. But um, <laughs> okay. no, I don't think there is. I, I actually have a, re a request, but I'll talk to you about it after just well, for okay. you. Just the so historical the commission, commission is meeting. That's it. So the fifteenth, I have, um, the, which is Tuesday, I have Homeland Security in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I have, um, NRCS is, offices are still open, so I have a meeting down there. So, but there is no meeting besides finance at night. Finance at six thirty. Finance is at 6.30? Mm -hmm. Okay. Six but it's too late to board. ask them for the reserve transfer. So yes, because they posted their agenda already. Okay. Um, but so I think they are going to meet every Tuesday. If okay, I so maybe we can just be sure to request that mm -hmm. for the 22nd then. Yeah. Um, so the 16th, you want us to meet at 6 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Okay, was there, was there a CP? Whatever, uh, was you know, CP? give me the agenda. Sorry. Was CP, um, CPCI, I mean, Community Capital Preservation. CIPC meeting? Um, uh, there, I don't, let me just check the calendar real quick. I know he asked something to be posted. Jeff was thinking of holding it, but we were 
probably going to meet on the 23rd. So that if if you didn't if you didn't post anything, then it's probably not going to happen. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything posted on the website yet. Okay, so then we're going to Boston on Thursday. Yeah. Um, so the 22nd is the finance committee meeting. I don't have it posted, but I think that's what they plan on doing is okay. every Tuesday. Yep. And then a select board meeting on the 23rd. Yep. And I think a C CIPC meeting. And then, I have negotiations that night, but I'll. Yes, but you're gonna you're you're gonna come as soon as you can. When I can. Yep. The twenty fourth, we're gonna have an executive board meeting. Yes. Um, probably here. Probably here. Okay. Yeah. Concom is meeting that night. Yes. Yeah. We'll so the, we'll, we'll probably go in the conference room. Um, and then, okay, so we don't have anything Friday, which is kind of weird. Okay. The only thing that I was hoping that we could really commit to as a select board is um, the. The 31st at GCC is the Franklin County Emergency Communications meeting. We've got negotiations that night, so we can't um, make it. This is at 7, though. Do you think you'll be able to make it at all? No. I've got two rounds. Oh, okay. Kip, can you come? Because I think it's really important to have. This is John is doing the presentation that we've been working on, you know, to go to the 800 system. Mm -hmm. we, we've got to make sure that everyone is supportive of this because. It has a huge financial impact on us. It's and you said millions that's at of dollars. Seven at GCC. Yeah, it's a, it's like a county vote. So what's it called again? It's the um, Franklin County Emergency Communications meeting. It's the FERCOG radio group, but the whole. I went to, I went to a couple of their meetings. Their, the the whole system is breaking down, and we have, and it will take millions to fix it, and we can't afford to do it. The state is willing to do the 800 number, you know, get, put us all in 800s, cover the gap, and we're even, you know, lobbying for radio. So it's relatively free. And we just... Are there people that get a vote at this meeting? You said GCC? Like, is it I, I think it's going to be more like... More than one person? Yeah, I think if there's areas? like a lot of people show up that are for it, it's just going to happen. I don't know who really votes. but. Um, I know I'm on the Shelburne Control Oversight Committee, so, you know, essentially I get a, a vote, I guess. But, because I, I go to these meetings so Will John be while. going? John's He's going. Presenting. He's actually doing a presentation. So, Kip doesn't need to go if he doesn't no, want no, to go. Kip, oh, No, we'll physically we need to have another People person there. there. We'll see. So, I, it's millions I, worth I millions, so you need to go. <laughs> um, we have, it, it, no, it's no, seriously, it's otherwise we're paying yeah. for it. Right. Yeah. It's short-sighted not to do it. We're all set. Do we have any public comment? No? Yes, we do. Mike Killeen, 112 Sunderland Road. Who oversees the building department? Select board. Select board. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we have an upcoming meeting on Monday the 14th. I mean, I'm sorry, on the 14th, then again on the 23rd. February 6th. And for all those out there on the sewer and not on the sewer, please come um, to the meeting Monday night to hear what's going on and ask your questions and um, we'll give you a full so update of where we're at. So you're not going to meet on the 9th? What's that? So you're not going to meet on the 9th about budgets? On the Not what? the 9th, the 16th. The 16th. 16th. Sorry. Yeah, we no. just said that. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. We added to it, but it's not yes. Okay. No, we just went over the meeting. Too. And if there's Whatever anything else, let me know before okay. the end of, you know, midday Monday so I can get that on so the agenda. So 16th, you really want a decision on budgets. compensation and budgets. Okay. Which is budgets, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Yep. Um, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you all for Friday night. Thanks, Kate. Thank you, Kate, Thank for coming you. out. Thank you. here all day. I know.